Hello, Harriet. May I have a seat? By all means. I thought I'd come by and have a chat with you before you open your club. I hear you have the best spot in Harlem. I see you reopen. Ah, it looks good. Yes, we are doing fine. Despite the minor bumps in the road. I know, I know. You think I'm the reason for some of that bad luck you had lately. I have a feeling this is not a social visit. So you thought bringing this to me personally was going to somehow make the situation better? Well, truthfully, you had plenty of chances to stop this from happening. You wouldn't know the truth if it sat right next to you. I didn't start this war. Well, the war started when you couldn't afford to pay all the rent. You don't have a choice in the matter now. That sounds like a threat. And this letter just confirmed my suspicions. Hmm, threat? <laughs> it's such a... Strong word. Now, this don't have to become personal. It is personal. I have a staff to think about. And the community needs me. I paid my rent on time for years. And then they tripled my rent. And I couldn't afford to buy a new place. Well, you put your staff in harm's way. That's your doing. Let's not pretend like you care about my staff. I see right through you. You type of man, a little boy who had a taste of power, and now he wants it all. Do you now? See right through me. You know me only from what the people are saying in the streets. Rumors. We haven't been close in school. Lorenzo, you should leave now. I don't have anything else to discuss with you. Well, if you really feel that way, I should. I really feel that way. And you will not get your hands on my place. Mm. You know, you're gonna need a miracle to stop me. Lorenzo leaving from this direction. That can't be good. Let's just say Lorenzo left me a little something. But we'll talk about that later. Okay, sweetie. So, are you ready for tonight's audition? As ready as I can be. I practice until I need a new shoes. <laughs> well, that's good to hear. You can buy new shoes after tonight's audition. Great. Is your dad okay with this? Well, he doesn't exactly know about this. Toby, hi! I didn't see you come in. How have you been since graduation? I'm good, and it's good to see you. I'm actually trying to get a part in this show with Miss Harriet. He was really good in the shows at school. Well, I've got to get back to work. See me before you leave. Do you mind giving me a few minutes to uh, chat with Charlie? Sure. I'll go find Rita. I need to find a partner to dance with tonight to celebrate. Now that we have some privacy, what is going on with his brain? I could run some diagnostics on it later. But I've been really strange lately. I think it's been affecting my dreams at It's nothing. It's what Lorenzo was here about earlier. You can read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. 
Since when did your rent triple? I've been saving for a whole year and I still don't have enough. Well, do you have a plan? This letter says you only have three months. Not so much as a plan, but an idea. Well, if I can help in any way at all, just let me know. Charlie, I'm sorry about this. And not just about the letter or Lorenzo. We have to do something. Like I said, I've been knocking around a few ideas. Well, any of them good enough to keep the club open? Yes. Hear me out. My niece, on the other side, she would be a star in my next show. I mean, she could keep Shuffles open long enough so we all can be rich. That's a big risk. I mean, what would the council say if they found out about this? You could lose the power of the ring. Is too. I'm supposed to be talking loud of this sort of thing, but I, I can't believe this makes sense. Exactly. We have to do this. Have you ever wondered what it was like on the other side? I have. Every time you make a visit, I become more intrigued. Plus, we need to bring something new to this Harlem. And your niece sounds very talented. I hope I can convince her to come with us. But when do you think you'll be telling her about this? It's no time like the present. Wait, what? She's just not gonna come to our world just like that. She'll do it if I ask her to. But besides, I'm out of options. And by the look of that letter, I'm out of time. But, wait. Remember the rule about unsanctioned visits? I don't have time to get confirmation. Well, what do I write on your time ledger? This little adventure's not even planned out. Plus, the council has been in my ear about reporting your every move. Good, I like making them nervous. Besides, you don't have to worry about reporting anything because you're coming with me. No, no, that's not gonna happen. No way, no way. Not too bad. I just started working here about three months ago. You should be a part of the show, not working as a waitress. When we were in school, you were one of the best. Well, I'm trying, but Miss Henry doesn't think I'm ready yet. Well, how well do you know her? What do you mean? She is nice to me, just hard to read sometimes. What are you doing? It's Put that the... away. It's for the nerves. This helps more than you know. But truthfully, I need your help convincing everyone that I deserve a part in this new show. I can do that, but you've got to help me. I will do anything. Let's say I get you the job. You've got to practice with me for a few months for my audition. Deal? Deal. But, I have always wanted to know what it's like over there. The people must be so different. Different, but the same. How so? I can't explain it. You have to experience it yourself. We are leaving now. Wait. Okay, so this really is happening? Yes, darling. This is happening. Well, but what about our stuff? Forget about your stuff. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm excited and scared. How was it your first time? Let's just say it's a good thing that you didn't eat too much. But expect it to feel like your stomach is pressing against your tongue. Wait, what? <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Let's go. It's time to make Lorenzo feel sorry he ever got in my way. Mm -hmm.